this video is about viscosity of gases that is how to determine the viscosity of a gas given the following parameters so we are going to learn how to find uh, the viscosity of any gas when the parameters are given and please thank you for choosing this channel and please subscribe for more videos so this question is basically Viscosity of gases is steady under momentum transport. And uh, this question is asking us to find the viscosity of hydrogen at one atmospheric pressure and at a temperature of 1364 Kelvin. Now, with this, mostly we use a formula which is from Chapman and Ernst Kong. So, now from Chapman and Ernst Kong equation, we know that the viscosity of any gas is equal to 2 times 67, that is 2.67 times 10 exponent negative 5 times the square root of the molar, that is the molar weight times the temperature in Kelvin, all over the characteristic um, diameter times the collusion, that is the collusion from the um, the viscosity so now we have uh, the breakdown of the unit so we know that m is in gram and is a molar weight and the viscosity is in what pulse and the t is the temperature which is the absolute temperature in kelvin and um, with this is the characteristics diameter of the molecule in armstrong so you need to know all this before you can start solving for any gas, as the viscosity of any gas. So this formula normally is given to us in the table form. So you need to know their units and also that'll be very simple. So now we have the collision integral, which is now the when solving for the viscosity of gases, mostly um, the problem is from the collision of integral how to find the collision of integral of the Chapman and Enskong theory. Yes, with this, it's also dimensionless. Please note that is what, dimensionless. And we have the Boltzmann constant. We need to know that. And we have the epsilon, which is a characteristics energy parameter. So now, let's go back to our question. How are you going to solve this question based on Chapman and Enskong equation? So now, Mostly, uh, we have a table given to us that is the, you know, with the Ernst Kong and the Chapman's equation, we know that we need to find the molar weight, the molar weight of hydrogen. Since we are dealing with hydrogen, let's identify it. So the molar weight of hydrogen is this, and we want this one, and we want this. Note, with this, as in finding the collision integral, it is rather the Boltzmann constant all over the epsilon times the temperature which is in kelvin but with this one they've given us the reciprocal of that so for us if we check here we know that we have it as i'm showing you we have it here so we have all the parameters when you look on the table now but with the collision integral which is the boltzmann constant times temperature all over the epsilon on this table, it is rather vice versa. So we need to find it very well. That is, we need to reciprocate this answer, which will correspond with this. What I'm saying is this. So with that, you're going to get 1 over 59.7 times the temperature because on the table, they've what? Reciprocated. So we need to reciprocate ours to get it in this form. So the collision integral is 1 over 59.7 times the temperature, that's the absolute temperature in Kelvin, which is 1,364 Kelvin. When you do the correct, we are going to get 22.85. Now, we have two tables normally given to us. So, after getting the collision integral, you need to look on the table and look at the value that corresponds with the collision integral. So, on this table, let's look there. It's 22.85. Let's look at this table. It starts from 0 0.3 and ends at 400. But we know that 22.85, we can't find it here. But it is in the interval 
of 20 and 40. So mostly, if a question is given to you and you find the collision integral and it is not on the table, you try finding the interval in which you can find the collision integral. So now, we've gotten the interval that is from 20 to 40, which will have the collision integral. So now, what you know that on the table, from the table that we've seen, when you look at 20, 20 will correspond to, let's look at something here, 20 corresponds to what? 0 0.7432 and 40 corresponds with 0 0.6718. So from that table, we know that this and that. Now from this, we need to find 22.85. We're using this interval. From here, I want you to pay attention. There's a trick. For us to find the collision integral, you are going to subtract 20 from 40 all over. You know that 20 corresponds with this and 40 corresponds with this. So you are going to subtract that one too. So it means that you are going to just map it. This is this and this is that. So you are going to write 20 minus 40 all over 0 0.74321 minus 0 0.6718 should be equal to 22 points, which is the one we are finding minus the last interval that is the 40 so 22.85 minus 40 all over you know that it's just corresponding but we don't have this so that's what we are looking for which will give us the into what the collision integral so now we know that 40 was given to us as 0.6718 right so with this you are going to do what cross multiplication and when you do that correctly you are going to subtract this that you're going to subtract 40 from 20 you're going to get negative 20 and when you do this, you're going to get 0 0.074. The same thing applies here. With a negative, this negative is going to cancel this negative. Because when you divide through by a negative, it's going to take care of the negative sign. After, what do you do? You cross multiply. When you cross multiply, it means that 20 is going to multiply the whole of this. And this is going to multiply the whole of this. And what you do this now, you find S. And the S will give you the what? The collision integral of 22.85. Note, put this in your head. So when you do that, it means that we are going to have our x to be 0 0.7331, which is correspond with the what? The collision integral, which we needed to solve for the viscosity of hydrogen gas. So when you get it correct, what do you do? Now we do what? Substitution. Because this is a constant given to us from the table. This is always from given to us. This is always in the table. But what? That is the interpolation or the collision integral is what we are finding so that is the main problem and it has been solved from here so make sure you put this in your head and any question given to us we can use this to find a what if actually the value you got from the collision integral doesn't correspond with the value on the table but they have intervals they use that but assuming you solved and you had a value which is on the table we just take it and solve with it so we have this so we just put in the molar weight, the temperature, and when you do that correctly, you know that from previously, we know that the viscosity is in what? Pulse, right? So you're going to get the viscosity, which is called the viscosity of a hydrogen gas is 2.38 times 10 exponent negative 4 pulse. As simple as that. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you love the video. Please. Subscribe for more videos and also share and comment. Thank you.